Hi, I'm Jay Johnson, President and CEO of WindowPurchase.com. It's an interactive learning center website I designed to teach people about Windows by way of pictures and videos and such. I've also had a couple books out on the market, How to Shop for Windows and Doors, and What Window Companies Don't Want You to Know. What Window Companies Don't Want You to Know, I redid in January 2019 into a condensed PDF version available on my website. Please check it out. It's a very helpful book. Anyway, here's my tip of the day. Um, this kind of falls under the video general or generic terms, but I'm going to get more specific. Energy efficient. Okay, I've seen $200 windows that say they're energy efficient. I've seen $2,000 windows that say they're energy efficient, and they both look the same to me. So what's going on? Why don't I just go get the $250 window and call it a day? Well, because I know that there's different ratings on windows, and that is way too vague just to say windows energy efficient. So here's where I'm going with this. One of the entities that sets up the criteria under which independent laboratories have to follow to test windows, doors, and skylights is called the NFRC. Now, National Fenestration Rating Council. Fenestration is a French word, fenestrat, and it means an opening. So when you cut a hole in the wall or build a new home and there's a hole in the wall, what are you going to put there? Well, usually a window or door. With that being said, this is how you should be looking at your new products. It's okay to have different companies come out and compare them to each other, but you should really be able, having all those companies, compare them to the wall's efficiency. Because just because you have three companies come out doesn't mean any of the three companies are all that good, and it doesn't mean any of the three companies' windows are capable of actually competing with the energy efficiency of your wall. So this is where it splits down the middle. What's the difference between energy efficient and high performance. High performance gets into a category all by its own and it's a product that's actually made so well it physically does a very good job at coming as close to the wall's efficiency rating as possible and that's the whole thing you're trying to do. If it's cold out you don't want the window to be a lot colder than the wall and if it's hot out you don't want the window to be a lot hotter than the wall so if you get a high performance window and put it in the hole in the wall, now everything starts feeling more similar and the wall and the window are closer to room temperature. That is the end goal. Don't assume just because you go out and buy a new window that's called energy efficient or thermal pane that it's going to do the job the wall's doing. You have to know what you're doing. Anyway, the next time you hear somebody say their windows are really energy efficient, you need to go way beyond that one. Otherwise, you're just going to be buying a window, and you're not going to know anything about it. Anyway, I'm Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com. Please subscribe to my website if you find my videos helpful. Thank you so much.